what is freedom freedom is self determination the right of self determination now in theory and even in practice this right to self determination can be self determination of an individual a nation or any other grouping and the third humanity so in theory as well as in practice you can claim or uh, self the right of self self determination for individual so that's a individual capitalism or sometimes people call it liberal capitalism and you can claim this right of self determination at the level of nation so you can have national capitalism or you can claim this right at the level of humanity so that would be humanitarian or humanistic uh capitalism so marxism in that sense we say marxism is also a form of capitalism fascism is also a form of capitalism and liberalism is also a form of capitalism so we recognize capitalism is at all these three levels although we also recognize that uh capitalism liberal capitalism is the most successful and most powerful form of capitalism and the reason for this is that if you uh freedom actually if you uh, if you adopt um freedom as your value it will eventually one of the key effect uh, fact about freedom is that the real freedom only you know leads to individualism so even if you are start with humanity you are going to fall back to individualism as happened with the uh, soviet union or nationalism in the same way because freedom actually if you uh, worship freedom um if you worship freedom if you adopt freedom as your value then you are incapable in the long run of uh, forming communities either it's at the national level or at the level of humanity so freedom actually dissolves communities in large groups so you fall back into individualism so even though we recognize the existence of freedom and self determination and capitalism at all three levels we also recognize that in the long run the most powerful the most successful form of capitalism is at the level of individual okay